and welcome. Thank you for joining us here on the Infinite Prosperity Podcast. My name is Louisa Havers and I help high achievers, entrepreneurs and coaches lift the lid on life and business so that they can live their best lives. Each episode, we'll bring you our favorite founders, CEOs and guest experts to share with you their insights and strategies to expand your wealth consciousness, your spiritual leadership and align business strategies for your success. We know that living in alignment with your soul's mission is what fulfills you and we're here to show you how to achieve this in an energetically aligned way. Now, if you haven't already, be sure to claim your free abundance activation in the Akashic Records. Go to louisahavers.com forward slash gift to unlock your abundance activation today. And if you'd like my support in having aligned success in life and business, then contact me at louisahavers.com and let's explore together if it's an aligned match. Get ready to live at your highest value and to expand into your next level of money, wealth, abundance. As you elevate and receive more, you create more for others. Righty-ho, let's dive into today's episode. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Infinite Prosperity Podcast. I am really, really excited because I have one of my soul soul sisters here, Marina Jacobi. A huge welcome to you, lovely. (laughs) I'm so excited to introduce you to everybody. So for those of you that have yet to meet Marina, Marina is amazing. Marina has coached in shadow work for 17 years, helping people in their lives through transforming painful dynamics so that they can become powerful, outrageous light leaders that they were born to be, yes. And she helps people rise with one-to-one coaching, masterclasses, releasing the NARC template from light workers' businesses. More of that, please. And her number one best-selling book and podcast, both called Turn Yourself On. And Marina also specializes in theta healing, metaphysics, and has taught Japanese yoga and meditation for 24 years. So I'm sure you can appreciate why I'm so <laughs> excited to have Marina as a guest today. A huge welcome, lovely. Aww thank you I just I heard that and I was like oh, I'm quite old aren't I I've been doing it for quite a while that's what I hear <laughs> oh, oh you're not old you're, you're we're the same age actually oh my god we're not old age. at all <laughs> a little a little known fact is uh, that Marina and I were actually discovered we were born in the same hospital only a couple of weeks apart <laughs> so we were obviously meant to meet um, which I just think that's so special and it's amazing that we discovered that when we first started, <laughs> first started chatting. So a huge welcome to everybody who's listening and joining us live in Clubhouse as well. It's so great to have you today. And our topic today is release the NARC template from your business so that you receive. And we'll dive into this. This is, this is Marina's speciality. So I'm so excited for her to be sharing with us today. I'd love as you... Um, people getting to know you Marina just to share with us what led you to all the great work that you do now what led you to doing your business honestly I've been doing it my whole life and I was doing it when I wasn't even consciously doing it so I feel like the reason that I actually started a business of it is because I was a single Mm mum and I didn't want to give my daughter to a childcare you know, beautiful though they are, a childcare centre to look after between, you know, eight and six, eight and seven, Mm -hmm. really, if you're working, right? Only for her to come home and she not be able to tell me how her day was because she couldn't really talk yet. And I thought, you know, everybody, we all make our choices. And for me, with my with my daughter, I just thought, no, I I, want to be able to really be with you. And so that is actually what made me do it probably quicker than I would have done. And the other answer is that I just feel like I'm born to do it. I've done it. (laughs) I did it before I could even talk. It's always able to hear what people were thinking or feel what they were thinking or feel what they were feeling. And I just wanted to help. And obviously now I've got some big fat boundaries in place because that that actually led me down not a great path for a while, right? When you're feeling everybody's feelings Mm -hmm. louder than your own. Um, Yeah. And I think at this point in time that we are really on this planet, I think a lot of us are feeling the call to really expand now in a much bigger way because we can see the work that needs to be done. We can see it. We can feel it. Um, And again, feeling with good boundaries, right? (laughs) I'm not going (laughs) to premise every time I say feeling with good boundaries, but you know what I'm saying? So yeah, Yeah. that's, that's really why I started it. It's so important. And I hear you on 
that decision that you made um you know in those early days as you were showing that I was like I remember telling my son when he was about one and a half this was Moses you know I was like oh, when I I was doing the eight to six you know working missing out and I remember saying to him one time I'm laughing slightly uh you know hysterically saying to him I love you darling and he went I love Kaylee who is his key worker <laughs> I know, but that is the reality. So I completely, you know, get the the big decision that you made around. I'm I'm going to take this decision so I can be with my daughter and I can have my own business and to be able to show up and serve in that way. So and anybody who builds their own business, I just think is incredible because it takes courage, it takes leadership, it takes learning, really getting to know yourself. It's like the best self development process that you can 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 go through um as as you have your own business talking about businesses and you mentioned about light workers what are you seeing out there at the moment for light workers in in business in business so hey light workers is a term i love it i know <laughs> not everyone resonates with it light workers is you know really anybody who's here to help anybody else. If you're helping somebody, whether you're a nurse, whether you're actually running a business, whether you're doing something that no one else would know that you do, you're a light worker, looking after children, right? Light working. So I'm seeing a lot of light workers at the moment have really clear ideas about how they want to help the planet. Some of them are already doing it Mm. and want to do it bigger. Some of them are wanting to step out for the first time. But what I'm seeing with a lot of them is that whilst they have perhaps walked away from one-sided relationships or narcissistic abuse, right? And I know every single light worker I've ever spoken to has gone, me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've yet to meet somebody that goes, what do you mean? Everybody has had some experience and What's happened is that they are, they've left those, right? They've walked away or they've healed them or they're in the process of healing them. But somewhere along the way, they're still running some of those same similar patterns. It's just now in their business. Mm -hmm. And so what's happening for a lot of light workers is that they want to serve in a much bigger way. And what they're finding is that they're putting stuff out there and maybe it just feels like a tiny drop in the ocean. They're not getting much response coming back or they are wanting to help people, but these people are not really wanting to be helped. And they're kind of feeling like they're full of all these ideas. They're full of this energy. They want to help. But the outside world, it's okay. It's just not what they thought it was going to be. And so this is why I'm I'm really wanting to help light workers now because you know, I've always said, like, we're the leaders of the planet. Mm. We're the real leaders of the planet until there are no more leaders needed anymore because we're all leading ourselves, because we're all in our power. None of us need leaders. We don't. We need inspiration. But at this point in time, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing that really strongly. Uh, I think it's so true um, what you say around light workers and the recognition that they've had some experience of um, this narcissism being then translated across into their business. I, I certainly see that too, where, <clears throat> excuse me, people have said, you know, they, they've recognized that experience in that maybe it's in their childhood. Yeah. Equally, it could be through um, a marriage or a partnership, then they've been living with somebody as, um, you know, as an adult or, mm. um, and started to have that experience. And it can, it can completely floor people um whether they've grown up with it or whether it's through uh, um you know an adult adult relationship um has these because we have all these protective mechanisms that we put into place don't we and the subconscious is just going to do a really fantastic job at making sure we keep safe and don't go through that experience again and of course um i talk about mirrors and magnets don't i all the time about okay what's being reflected back to you and the business is such a, our businesses are such a beautiful <laughs> mirror for us <laughs> to show what's, what is being reflected back to me, what is being asked to be healed um, within me so that the consciousness of, my, consciousness of my business can grow and expand and to serve all the people that we're, we're here to serve. Mm-hmm. But you, you mentioned around, um, I know our title for today is around releasing the NARC template. And I know this is unique to you. So tell us, what is the NARC template? <laughs> tell us about that. Well, 
technically it got downloaded to me a few months ago and um, I was like, damn, that's exactly what it is. So the NARC template is, and again, I'll, I'll sort of kick off from where we, we were talking just then. It's for anybody that is has kind of walked away from these one-sided relationships where you are giving but not receiving. It's all about them, but not about you. You've done that, been there, done that, right? You're like, I'm not doing that anymore. New set of friends, booyah. Mm. If you've had narcissistic abuse, if you've had these one-sided relationships, the not template is where you're still running that template in your business. So it's not showing up in your personal relationships anymore, but now it's showing up in your business. So now it's like, okay, where is this showing up in my business? You know the NARC template, which is short for narcissistic template for anyone that's going, what's the NARC? <laughs> I think we all know, but just in case, that's my yeah. little way of doing it. Um, the narcissistic template, you know you're running it in your business anywhere you're overgiving and anywhere you're under receiving, anywhere it's non-reciprocal, mm. anywhere it is all about your client as it should be during a session, but elsewhere in your business, it's not about you. It's not about the lifestyle that you wanted to give yourself and your children and your family, which is, let's face it, why we created businesses in the first place. Um, and it can come up in ways where maybe you're not getting the testimonials. Like you're like, wow, she just said to me in a session that, you know, if it wasn't for me, she would be this, that and the other. But then the testimonial comes and it just feels sort of lukewarm mm. because you're not receiving. So. The NARC template is where are you not receiving? Where are you still not receiving easily in your business? And you think you're banging your head against a brick wall. You're like, right, I'm going to spend a ton on marketing. I'm going to spend a ton on a business coach. I'm going to spend a ton on all of this stuff. And even though you can see the value of the business coach and the marketer and they're amazing people, you're like, there's just something you can't explain it, but there's something and no one's really talking about it. That's what I'm seeing across the board with so many light workers, light workers who are earning, you know, they're just starting out in business, but also light workers that are way ahead. And they're like, mm -hmm, looks like I'm doing really, really well, but my God, I'm exhausted or my God, I'm working really hard for this. And still, my clients are getting better results in their life than I am. They're mm -hmm. taking the holidays I can't take. You know, they have, they're taking that, that, that sojourn for like, you know, they can take two or three months off. I still can't do that. So it's a really great way of looking at your business. Is your business the narcissist? Is that what's sucking you dry? And again, bearing in mind, we're not saying that your clients are the narcissist. Mm. We're not saying your customers are far from it. This is like a little template that you went, okay, I'm just going to unconsciously take it and I'm going to run it so that no matter what I do, it will never be about me. It will never be about me receiving. And then slowly, 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 you start to get more and more exhausted. And yet you're banging your head against a brick wall because you're like, I'm really good at what I do. I'm really talented. I'm seeing people out there that don't have what I have. They're brilliant in their own right, but they're not me. I know mm -hmm. I could smash it. And I see, I've seen a lot of light workers give up. I've seen a lot of light workers just kind of stop. And then I've seen others that are just so frustrated because they're still not really doing what they came here to do, which is to make massive impact. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that when you were speaking about the, the the impact of running a narcissistic template in the business and the the one of the impacts being the burnout that's mm -hmm. huge because of course we know that not only does burnout then going to affect how you're able to then show up within your own business having the energy to be able to show up 125 million percent for your clients but also then being able to have the impact on your family if you have a family all the other things that go on in life and of course your your health it, it, it this the the impact of having that template running in your business is devastating it is and the thing is it's sort of normal for you right you kind of go well i remember this feeling mm -hmm. this is how i've lived most of my life i've only been out of one-sided relationships maybe for just a few years maybe between five and ten years so it kind of feels familiar i kind mm -hmm. of feel like 
like basically like a really good way of saying what the NARC template is, is it's anywhere you're giving 80% and only getting 20 back. Mm. If you're used to that, even though you're completely exhausted, you're still used to that. It's become kind of the usual way of being. And so what I've been doing with clients is going, all right, that is your usual way. But what if we normalized the other way? What if we normalized real receiving, like real receiving? Mm -hmm. What if we normalized that you no longer have to do the majority of every single interaction that you're in and only get the 20% back? Genuinely, how would it feel to have reciprocal relationships? Genuinely, how would it feel that when you um, hire your next member of your team, that that person can actually support you. You still, you know, where in your team are you still kind of running things a bit more than you'd like to? Where are you taking more responsibility, maybe for some of their mistakes and saying, you know, it doesn't matter, it's okay. It's honestly, it's fine. And they, they're they not really there for you. Where are you doing that? That's so key because you want every member of your team and the business, the relationship you have with your business, for your business to support you. It's like a beautiful energy when it's working like an infinity symbol where you're giving and supporting and loving your business and your business is giving and supporting and loving you. And you're able to keep that energetic flow running through so that like you were saying about being able to seeing your clients having all the success and be able to take the time off off work or whatever it may be going on the holidays and things so you can allow yourself to to receive that as well and to be able to receive it without worrying about what the team are doing whether they yeah. are they got yeah. it you know it's you've genuine. hired the right people that's right you've actually hired people that are supporting you you know you know you're running the narc template anywhere in your business if you are the supporter but not the supported Hmm. and we're so good at supporting we're so good at giving like I used to joke I could coach on the delivery in the delivery room if I was giving birth and I could see like again before I had boundaries right (laughs) and I'd be like no problem I could do it standing on my head but actually the blind spot is the receiving and that's why I wrote I mean I wrote so much about it in my book few years ago about receiving and I realized that I've been releasing this narcissistic template from people's businesses for the last 17 years I just never called it that I never realized it was that Mm. and I I look back now and it's like oh that's what it was because we don't even work on money and like my Mm -hmm. clients double or triple their income and I used to go wow wow cool okay excellent you know Mm. next client please or what have you and now I'm going Marina, you didn't realize that's what you were doing. You were actually extracting it out of their business so that they had a different experience. And, you know, not just of your business, not just of the money coming in and and all of that, but actually of the world. Like Mm -hmm. what would it feel like to actually have the world genuinely support you? Like if you think about how supportive you are of others, what would that actually feel like? I mean, really bloody energizing to start with right and don't we need that as fuel like we can all self-generate like that but you know you have a huge smile from a client a client that really says thank you and they really um they really understand what you're doing with them they're not just taking it for granted that makes a huge difference and I see so many incredible coaches and business owners really make massive differences in people's lives and some of them do get that and others have these amazing clients around them but they're not eliciting that from the clients because of this energy everything's vibration exactly like you said the business is your consciousness Mm. it's like what is it in your vibration that is eliciting this response and how can we shift that Mm. life-changing oh I love how you've been able to bring all these years of experience into this this framework that can really help people understand um what they've been doing because i do hear a lot of people who have um previously recognized around the narcissistic um, template running within the relationships but not joining (coughs) excuse me not joining the dots in terms of Mm. oh this is why i've got this resistance um running (laughs) running up in my in my business and and being in that space of thinking I can't figure out why you know 
Um, so this is just, this is life changing what you are bringing to the world and um, how you work with your clients. I absolutely love it. How, how can people connect with you and follow you and stay in touch with you? They can, um, my, my website is marinaj.net, um, M-A-R-I-N-A-J.net. You can come find me on Instagram, Marina J Coaching, and you can come make friends with me um, on Marina Jacoby, J-A-C-O-B-Y is my Facebook profile. Um, just come and say hi, like literally you're not alone. Um, I've created a new Facebook group as well um called release the narc template from your business and that we're actually doing a lot of like i'm doing lives in there at the moment so there's a lot of free stuff so if you want to get started on you know really releasing that there's no shame mm. there's so many people in that group that are light leaders they're here to make impact and a lot of them already are they just want to make more impact because it's hard to have all this feeling in you and not be able to really expand it you know, it's like we really want to expand. So there's amazing people there. And what I love about that group is it's very emotionally safe. It feels really lovely in there. So you can just come and be you, hang out and clear it, clear it out. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> yeah, totally. Oh, I absolutely love it. And I know you've got a wonderful freebie for everybody as well. Do you want to speak yes. a little bit about that? And we'll pop the links, of course, underneath the, the podcast. Absolutely. So I have an, a free emotional health masterclass and it's for you to fall in love with your dark side, with every feeling that you have so that the outside world has no power over you. And those feelings like anger, like fear and anxiety, any feeling that you have that pulls you out of center, that pulls you out of creation, once you make friends with it, it has no power over you anymore. So it's a two hour masterclass and there is, we, we do like, I think a couple of subconscious processes in it. And it's really for you to fall in love with your shadow because, and that's what I do with my ego. I've fallen in love with her. So she's got no power over me. I don't believe in fighting against mm -hmm. the ego or, you know, I hear people say, you know, I'm at war with my ego or you know, I just want to get rid of her or, you know, ego death. And I'm like, for me personally, We've been made with every single part of us for a reason. It's so that we can operate on this planet with its density, stay light, but stay embodied. And I also see a lot of light workers and light leaders who are very comfortable in the higher chakras. They're very mm. comfortable with light and love. And you've got to, I always say, you know, you've got to be a bit of light, love, and also fuck you. <laughs> and you have to have that ability to use your dark side to protect you, to have your boundaries so that you can also live very practically and well on this planet. Um, so that's there. Yeah. And there's also a higher self meditation there as well, that if you need to really connect, you can have that too. That's so beautiful. Thank you so much for those generous gifts. And I'm in a Marina's Facebook group as well. It's absolutely magical. There's so much shifting going on. The community is beautiful. So um, just a bit of a shout out there to <laughs> validate that you. Um, for you. Um, it's just been such a joy. I know that you and I can chat for hours. <laughs> um, and thank you to everybody who has joined us on Clubhouse as well. And thank you to everyone who's joined us on the podcast. Thank you so much, Marina, for sharing mm. your wisdom and your love with everybody today. And thank you, everybody who has joined us. Looking forward to connecting with you all again until next time when we will see you then. If you have any ideas for future shows or topics you'd love to hear me talk about, then drop me a message at louisa at louisahavers.com. And until that next time, sending you all so much love and appreciation for being here and for all that you do in this world. Lots and lots of love. Aww. Namaste. Thanks for listening to the Infinite Prosperity podcast. And if you like what you've heard and want to know more, please go to louisahavers.com. We just appreciate you so much. So thank you for listening and hanging out with us. If there's anything that we can do for you, you can email us at louisa at louisahavers.com. Let my team know if you have any ideas for shows that you'd love to hear or topics you want me to talk about. Really looking forward to hearing from you. 
All right, that is it for this week, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us for today. Looking forward to connecting with you again. Until next time, namaste.